Hello, Cosmic Seekers, and welcome back to the Cosmic Code channel. Today we embark on a journey deep into the universe's numerical secrets, exploring the ancient and mystical art of numerology. Numerology, a cosmic code that transcends time and space, is the study of the profound significance each number holds in our lives. As we navigate through the cosmic energies, we'll unlock the mysteries behind the numbers and discover how they shape our destiny. Before we dive into the cosmic sea of numbers, make sure to subscribe to the Cosmic Code and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our cosmic revelations. So, what is numerology exactly? It transcends mere mathematical principles. It serves as a cosmic instrument that unveils the mystical significance embedded in numbers. Rooted in ancient wisdom and embraced across diverse cultures, numerology provides a profound means of comprehending the energies that shape our existence. Numerology establishes connections between numbers and the energies that manifest as traits and states of being in our daily lives. Similar to astrology, it derives meaning from the correlations between our personal numbers and the numerology chart and the energies these numbers represent. A numerology reading employs your name and date of birth to compute your core numbers, each of which symbolizes the energy you bring to different aspects of your life. Armed with this information, you can cultivate self-awareness. Numerology facilitates the journey of inner exploration, enabling you to gain insights into your true self. Even if you may not fully resonate with every aspect it reveals about you, the act of contemplating and understanding yourself holds paramount importance. Delving inward and examining your soul, motivations, actions, and choices through the enchantment of numbers leads to a unique form of self-knowledge. If you find yourself feeling lost or uncertain about the next steps in your life, Numerology can be a guiding force. It has the capacity to unveil the profound yearnings of your soul, help you grasp your life path, and calculate your karmic debt. Whether or not you subscribe to the notion of past lives, exploring your life through this concept may bring about a shift in perspective, leading to new insights. A Brief History of Numerology Numerology has various systems worldwide, with the Pythagorean system standing out as the most popular in the Western Hemisphere. This system traces its roots to the notions of the Greek mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras, who believed that everything, including God, could be expressed as a number. Despite its popularity, numerology faced opposition from the Church and in 325 AD, at the Council of Nicaea. It was classified among unapproved beliefs alongside other divinatory arts and fortune-telling practices. However, despite the Church's efforts to discourage numerology, some argue that it is implicitly present in the Bible, evident in the recurring use of numbers such as 3 and 7. Symbolizing the Holy Trinity and the creation of the world in seven days, respectively. Over time, numerology persisted in various cultures, experiencing a resurgence in the West during the 1960s when Juno Jordan revived and expanded upon Pythagoras' concepts. Jordan identified crucial numerological influences associated with birthdates and names. Thanks to her methods, individuals can now calculate significant aspects of their lives and purpose, including life path, destiny or expression, soul urge, attitude, personality, and karmic debt numbers. How to Interpret Your Core Numerology Numbers Each number serves as a key to unveiling crucial aspects of your personality and life journey, encompassing your calling, life purpose, lessons from past lives, and the image you project to others. Life Path Number this number delves into your life purpose and lessons, offering insights into the path you are meant to follow. Destiny number. Examining your approach to life and the manner in which you navigate it, the destiny number sheds light on how you show up in various situations. Soul urge number. Uncovering your heart's deepest desires, the soul urge number provides a glimpse into the innermost aspirations that drive you. Attitude number. Your presentation to the external world is explored through the attitude number revealing the image you project and the way you interact with your surroundings. Personality number. Investigating how others perceive you, the personality number offers insights into the impressions you leave on those around you. Birthday number. Your special gifts are illuminated through the birthday number, showcasing the unique attributes and talents associated with your birth. Karmic debt numbers. These numbers, if present in your chart, Signify lessons carried over from past lives to be addressed and learned in the present lifetime. In Western Pythagorean numerology, the numbers 1 through 9, 
along with 11, 22, and 33, are utilized. Double-digit numbers are considered master numbers, indicating additional gifts, talents, and lessons that you have incarnated in this lifetime to explore and master. Life Path Number The Life Path Number serves as a roadmap for your journey through life, encapsulating the primary challenges, lessons, and opportunities that will unfold. It serves as a guide to identify where your genuine talents and abilities lie, offering a blueprint for the unfolding evolution of your life. Understanding your life path number is essential for navigating the various aspects of survival and flourishing. This key number not only provides insights into your overarching life mission, but also sheds light on your strengths, weaknesses, and potential challenges. Among all the numbers in your numerology chart, the life path number is unparalleled in its ability to unveil your true nature and temperament. It offers a comprehensive view of your lifetime trajectory. However, it's crucial to recognize that your numerology profile is a harmonious blend of all your core numbers, not solely defined by your life path number. Each number contributes to the intricate tapestry of your numerological identity. How to Calculate Your Life Path Number To accurately determine your life path number, it is essential to follow the correct calculation method. Incorrectly calculating master numbers and karmic debt may occur if the month, day, and year of your birth are not reduced separately before being added together. Follow these steps for an accurate calculation. Write down your full birth date in numeric form. If your birth date is October 22, 1987, write it as 11-22-1987. Reduce day, month, and your separately. October, which is the 10th month, so is equal to the number 10, reduces to 1, because 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. The 22nd reduces to 4 because 2 plus 2 is 4. And 1987 reduces to 7 because 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 is 25. And when we sum 2 and 5, it is equal to 7. Step 3 is to add the reduced numbers together. Combine 1 plus 4 plus 7, and we get 12. Further reduce 12 by adding its digits together. 1 plus 2 equals to 3. Therefore, your life path number is 3. By meticulously following these steps, you ensure an accurate calculation of your life path number, avoiding potential errors related to master numbers and karmic debt. Destiny number, or also called expression number. In numerology, your destiny number serves as a guiding force to assist you in achieving both your grand and minor aspirations. Distinguishing itself from the life path number, which speaks to your broader life purpose, the destiny number zeroes in on your qualities, character, and ultimate destiny. However, it's noteworthy that your life path number and destiny number often complement each other. From my perspective, your life path number outlines your designated purpose, while your destiny number elucidates the approach you adopt to fulfill it. The intrigue deepens when numerology incorporates your name. Your destiny number emerges as the sum of the numerical values assigned to each letter in your full name. This contrasts with your life path number, which centers around your birth date. Regardless of your current name, the expression number is consistently calculated based on the first full name documented on your birth certificate. This straightforward computation, determining your single-digit expression number, proves instrumental in uncovering your key traits and areas of excellence throughout life. The impact of your expression number extends beyond a specific phase. There are no confines to its influence. While you possess the agency to choose your path, it may not invariably align with what seems most conducive to fulfilling the greater purpose dictated by your life path number. How to Calculate Your Destiny Number Write down your full birth name. Each letter in your name corresponds to a number. Let's say you're Taylor J. Johnson. Taylor is equal to 28. J is equal to 9. And Johnson is equal to 32. For those two-digit numbers, add the two digits together. For 32, you get number 5. For 28, you get number 10, which becomes number 1 when you add the two digits again. Next, sum these single numbers together. 1 plus 9 plus 5 is equal to 15. Add 1 plus 5, and we get 6. Accordingly, Taylor J. Johnson's destiny number is 6. Master Numbers Typically, your expression number, also referred to as the destiny number, is a single digit, as exemplified earlier. However, exceptions exist, specifically with certain master numbers, namely 11, 22, and 33. If your calculation yields any of these master numbers, they stand as your destiny number, 
and you do not reduce them to a sum of two digits. Why are master numbers so powerful? Numerologists assert that the potency of master numbers lies in their unique pairing, enhancing their vibrational strength. This coupling is believed to imbue them with exceptional potential, making their energies distinctly robust. The inherent power within master numbers surpasses that of any singular digit. While a single-digit number holds significance, the pairing of digits in a master number amplifies their influence. The presence of master numbers is unparalleled, showcasing extraordinary strengths. These master numbers, 11, 22, and 33, collectively form the Triangle of Enlightenment, each residing at a vertex of the triangle. Yet, there remains some debate within numerological circles regarding the existence of another potential master number yet to be identified. Is 44 a master number? There is a divergence of opinions regarding whether 44 qualifies as a master healer and a master number. Some numerology experts contend its status, while others challenge this notion. The absence of 44 from the Triangle of Enlightenment raises questions about its classification as a master number, as it seems to exist outside the established framework. Whether 44 earns the designation of a master number remains a subject of debate. In my previous videos, I have refrained from including it. However, numerous numerologists subscribe to the belief in the significant influence wielded by the number 44. The decision to acknowledge its potential and channel faith into its powers ultimately rests with you. Is 22 the most powerful number? Numerologists assert that among the master numbers, 22 stands out as the most potent. The rationale behind this belief lies in the perception that it encapsulates timeless knowledge and possesses unparalleled spiritual prowess. Master number 22 is often referred to as the master builder, renowned for its capacity to manifest seemingly impossible dreams into tangible reality. Interestingly, beyond its own identity as 22, this master number encompasses all the attributes of another number, 4. This is a result of adding the digits of the master number 22 yielding 4. The qualities associated with the number 4 are characterized by dependability, efficiency, and dedication, qualities that extend across various aspects, be it a personality number, expression number, or any other. The remarkable achievements attributed to the number 4 contribute to the perception of 22 as the most influential among the master numbers. Moreover, the strength of master number 22 is believed to amplify with age. If 22 is present in your numerology chart, the potential for growth and accomplishment only intensifies as you navigate through the stages of life. Armed with the right ambition, having 22 in your chart is thought to enhance the likelihood of surpassing any goal you set for yourself. How to Utilize Master Number 22 Having 22 in your numerology chart is advantageous, but it requires certain elements to maximize its potential. The number itself cannot achieve everything on its own. To leverage its power, you must possess passion, self-confidence, vision, plans, and leadership skills. This principle is universally applicable to every number, as success is contingent upon individual motivation and sustained actions over the long term. Why do I keep seeing master numbers? Frequently, I find myself glancing at the clock precisely at 3.33 a.m. or encountering phone numbers featuring two or three consecutive threes. If you're experiencing a similar phenomenon with numbers like 11, 22, or 33, you might be curious about its significance. This recurring pattern is not a mere coincidence. The repetition of these numbers suggests that someone, possibly a spirit guide, is attempting to communicate a message to you. The persistent appearance of these numbers serves as a reminder of the message, even if you have already discerned its meaning. It is as if the universe is prompting you to retain and internalize the message being conveyed. How do I find my master number? To determine if you have a master number in your numerology chart, you must calculate the following core numbers. Life path number, destiny number, personality number, attitude number, and birthday number. Regrettably, not everyone possesses a master number in their chart. However, if you happen to have one, it is highly likely to be found among the core numbers mentioned above. Soul Urge Numbers In the realm of numerology, your soul urge number, also known as the heart's desire number, encapsulates the deepest longings of your heart and soul. It serves as a reflection of your dreams, hopes, and wishes, 
offering insights into your inner motivations and functioning as the lens through which you navigate decision-making. Additionally, this number sheds light on your approach to relationships. When your soul urge number aligns harmoniously with your life path number, decision-making becomes a more straightforward process. However, if there exists a disparity between these numbers, occasional conflicts may arise. Decision-making can become challenging as you find yourself torn between the rational and emotional aspects of your being. In the event that your life path number and soul urge number coincide, you are likely to find it effortless to embody true authenticity in your actions and choices. How to Calculate Your Soul Urge Number Step 1. Write down your full birth names, including all middle names on a single line. For this example, we will use the name Emily Jennifer Stone. Step 2. Identify the vowels in your birth name. Step 3. Assign each vowel its numerology number. A is equal to 1. U is equal to 3. E is equal to 5. O is equal to 6. I is equal to 9. And Y is equal to 7. But sometimes, Y acts differently to other vowels. Sometimes it can be a consonant, so it only needs to be counted in the instances when it represents a vowel. For example, in the name Emily, the letter Y is considered a vowel. You can find out more examples of the cases when Y is a vowel in a trusted English dictionary. You only need to count it if it appears to function as a vowel. Step 4. Add all the vowels numbers up. 5 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 is 51. Step 5. Reduce the total sum to a single digit. In the example above, 51 is 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6. The numerology soul number for Emily Jennifer Stone is 6. With the exceptions of master numbers 11, 22, and 33, your heart's desire number will always reduce down a single digit. It's also important to note that there is no soul number 10. It would need to be reduced to a single digit 1 plus 0 equal to 1. Attitude number. An integral aspect of numerology, the attitude number, also recognized as the sun and achievement number, plays a crucial role in shaping how you project yourself to the external world, particularly in initial interactions. Ranging from 1 to 9, these numbers encompass diverse traits. While you might not always be conscious of it, your attitude number provides insight into your behavior in the presence of others. If you find yourself dissatisfied with the initial perceptions others have of you, there are methods to bring about change. I'll guide you through the process of discovering your number and delve into the distinct qualities associated with each numerical value. How to Calculate Attitude Numbers You can calculate your sun number or attitude number by adding the values of your birth date and birth month. Your birth year isn't included in the equation. For example, if you were born on the 1st of September, your value can be calculated in the following way. Date of birth is the number one. Birth month is 9. Birthday plus birth month is equal to 1 plus 9, which is 10. Then again, we reduce this number to a single digit and we get the number 1. So, your attitude number would be 1. Each value has its own set of unique characteristics and it describes how a person usually acts even if it isn't necessarily how they feel. Personality number. You are familiar with yourself, the workings of your mind, your thoughts, and your opinions. Your sense of personality is well-defined, yet it may not align with how others perceive you. However, there's no need for concern, as your personality is associated with a numerical value. This number can provide insights into what people think about you. According to numerology, your personality number is either a single digit or a master number. It is derived from the consonants in your full birth name, encompassing your first, middle, and last names is recorded on your birth certificate at the time of your birth. Your birth name holds the key to your personality number, while your nickname unveils your minor personality number. In this particular video, the focus is on the personality numbers derived from the full name, offering a comprehensive understanding of yourself. Your personality number serves as a tool to comprehend the energy you project into the world. It elucidates why certain individuals gravitate toward you, others choose to stay, and some may not attempt to connect. In the realm of numerology, the personality number holds immense significance, ranking high in your core profile. It collaborates with your other numbers to craft your soul blueprint. How to calculate your personality number? Step 1. Write down your first name, middle name, and last name you have on your birth certificate. 
You need all the consonants from your names. Let's use the fictional Jamie Ray Wilkinson. The consonants are J, M, R, W, L, K, N, S, and N again. Step 2. Convert the letters. Each letter translates to a number. Jamie R. E. Wilkinson's consonants are 1, 4, 9, 5, 3, 2, 5, 1, and 5. Step 3. Add the numbers together. When we sum them, we get the number 35. Step 4. Reduce it to one digit. Personality numbers, and most numbers in numerology, are single-digit numbers with the exception of master numbers 11, 22, and 33. But the sum of 3 and 5 is 8, so in this case, Jamie's personality number is 8. I've already mentioned master numbers multiple times, and we've established that they're 11, 22, and 33. The first three double-digit same-digit numbers you'll come across when counting. You're very lucky if you end up with 11, 22, or 33 on your numerology chart. Master numbers are rare, they're supercharged, and they hold traits of their sum and the matching digits that make up the number. Birthday numerology, what's the meaning of your birthday? Numbers extend beyond mere symbols for currency and time. In numerology, they embody profound significance. The numbers assigned to you serve as a gateway to understanding yourself and deciphering the actions and choices that shape your life. Among these, birthday numbers hold a distinctive significance, indicating a unique talent or gift that can significantly influence your life path. The number associated with your birth date acts as a guiding force, directing you toward avenues where you can fully explore and apply your inherent gifts. Unlike other numerological values, your birthday number can be a single or double-digit figure, stemming from the days of the calendar month. This number is intricately linked to a special gift innate to you, whether it be leadership qualities, analytical acumen, profound creativity, a potent intuition, or other distinctive attributes. How do you calculate your birthday number? True to its name, your distinctive birthday number is exclusively derived from your birth date and nothing else. If you were born on the 1st, your birthday number is 1. Similarly, if your birth date is the 21st, your birthday number is 21. There exists a unique power and vibrational energy associated with the specific date of your birth in your numerology chart. The alignment of your birthday number with a particular date is not a random occurrence. Rather, traditional numerology emphasizes that one's individual birth date is intricately linked with cosmic forces. These forces play a guiding role throughout our life journey and in the manifestation of our essence. Numerology unveils various aspects such as the life path number, attitude numbers, birthday numbers, and more. Offering profound insights into our purpose on this earth and the challenges that may confront us along our life's path. Spiritual meaning of the birthday number. The family into which you were born is not a choice you make. Rather, it is chosen for you. A similar concept applies to your birthday number. You gradually come to realize and define yourself within the particular family you were born into, and this affiliation remains with you throughout your life. This notion carries a sense of spirituality, embodying a divinity that unfolds as you navigate your existence. Your birthday, marking your first day on earth, stands as one of the most significant days in your life. Each passing year, you celebrate not only the passage of time but also the milestones you have achieved. On this day, you often feel a sense of cosmic alignment, surrounded by the love of your dear ones and adorned with thoughtful gifts. You become the focal point around which every numerology number revolves, practically a day uniquely yours to seize and celebrate. Karmic Debt Number Numerology occasionally converges with the philosophies of ancient Eastern cultures, particularly in the realm of karmic debt. There exists a palpable connection between our past and present lives. The consequences of our actions often transcend lifetimes, contributing to the continuous evolution of our being. Karmic debt in numerology pertains to the lessons destined for us in the journey across these interconnected lifetimes. An imbalance serves as a reminder of lessons from previous births that require our attention and understanding for personal growth. What's karmic debt? Karmic debt in numerology finds its roots in Hindu and Buddhist karma philosophy, where the actions of one's previous lives influence the quality and nature of their present existence. When your life's balance is skewed, it serves as a cosmic message. It indicates that you may have missed opportunities in your prior life to grasp crucial lessons essential for your soul's development. 
This missed opportunity offers a chance to rectify past errors and restore your cosmic balance through righteous actions. Karmic debt is not a universal experience, but is specific to individuals who genuinely need to redirect their current life paths. There are four significant values associated with cosmic balance, 13, 14, 16, and 19. How do I calculate my karmic debt number? Calculating your karmic debt, if you have any, is an easy process. There are three major ways of determining your karmic debt number. 1. Based on day of birth is the simplest way. 2. Based on personality number. 3. Based on life path number. All four numbers 13, 14, 16, and 19 have varying lessons and traits associated with them. But what does it mean to have no karmic debt? If you don't have any karmic debt, it means that you have learned the lessons in each lifetime, and you don't need to carry anything forward. How do you get rid of karmic debt? To eliminate one's karmic debt number, the key lies in attentiveness to the lessons associated with the numbers and responding in alignment with their nature. For instance, an individual connected to the lessons of 19 can restore their cosmic balance by cultivating greater selflessness. Ultimately, numbers permeate every aspect of existence, serving as the cipher to unravel the fabric of reality. Numerology extends its reach to forecast your future unveiling the energetic forces that will shape the unfolding chapters of your life. In revealing your numerology blueprint, treat it as a cosmic mirror that reflects your authentic self. Each number functions as a brushstroke on the canvas of your life, contributing to the creation of a masterpiece uniquely yours. Before we part ways, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed our cosmic exploration. Share it with fellow seekers who might find solace in the cosmic code, and if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay in tune with our cosmic revelations. More cosmic insights await you in our upcoming videos. Stay cosmic, stay curious, and may the cosmic codes continue to reveal their wonders in your life. Until next time, stay blessed all.